Winston-Salem, North Carolina, App Ike Smith stepped to the free throw line for two of the biggest free throws of his career and made it look easy. Smith, who early in the game went over the 1,000-point career mark, was good and good again with 3.9 seconds to go, giving Georgia Southern an 8,583 road upset of Wake Forest in the season opener for both teams. The Deacons, coming off the first NCAA tournament in seven years, lost for just the second time in the last 29 home openers. We knew we had to come in here with toughness and face some adversity, Smith said. That's what we did. This was a good win for us. We just want to win games. The atmosphere was great with the crowd yelling at us. This was a good win for us. GSU had last beaten an ACC opponent when it topped host Virginia Tech 8,378 in 2013. Tookie Brown led GSU with 22 points while Smith and Winston-Salem native Mike Hughes added 18 each. Monty Glenn added 14 points with 13 rebounds and Jared Hamilton 10 points. We beat a good team, and the fact they're a good team is important for us, Eagles coach Mark Byington said. They turned it into more of a shootout than I expected. Guys were making three-pointers all over the floor, but luckily we were matching them. And at every huddle Tookie Brown told them we were going to win this game. Keyshawn Woods led Wake with 25 points while Chaundy Brown added 21 and Bryant Crawford 19. Georgia Southern made more plays than us and did some really good things, Wake coach Danny Manning said. We knew that their guards were tough and very talented. Nothing you saw today surprised us. We have to get better defensively. The Deacons led 4,640 at the break behind 18 points from Woods and 12 from Chaundy Brown. Wake had led by 14 in the opening minutes before the Eagles made a run, cutting the margin to 3,129 on a three-pointer from Tookie Brown with 536 left in the half. Tookie Brown had 12 points and Smith, who entered the game with 998 career points, 11 in the first half. The Eagles shot 48.5% in the first half to 45.5 for Wake, which was leading the rebound battle 2,112 at halftime. GSU tied it at 4,848 on a three-pointer from Hughes at 1739, and tied it again at 50 on a pair of free throws from Jared Hamilton. GSU took its first lead of the game at 8,079 on a Hughes three-pointer with 211 to go. The Eagles tied it on a Smith three-pointer that made it 8,383 with 102 remaining. I guess we're not as good as we think we are, said Wake's Terrence Thompson, a graduate transfer from Marshall playing his first game for Wake. But we can't focus on this one loss. We didnt overlook them. We just didnt to what we needed to do to win. Big picture Georgia Southern the Eagles may have beaten the most talented team on the schedule on the road in the season opener. Impressive stuff. Wake Forest the Deacons may need to develop a killer instinct. They won by only two points in their exhibition game against Division II Power Queens University of Charlotte. They said ITGSU Byington we won't play many teams like this. Just their size. Doral Moore 71 is huge and causes problems. And they have big guards. We'll play other good teams, but we won't have a match-up like that this year. I appreciate Danny, playing us. I wanted to bring senior Winston-Salem native Coy Simmons, 11 rebounds in 11 minutes home. When we were putting together our schedule many teams would not return phone calls or would not play us. Up next Georgia Southern hosts Cal State Bakersfield on Monday night to start a TWA game homestand. Wake Forest hosts Liberty on Tuesday night. Copyright 2017, The Associated Press. All rights reserved. This material may not be published, broadcast, rewritten or redistributed.